we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one, and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, My practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do a reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Cancer, let's see what's going on for you. What is happening for cancer? What's happening for cancer? The tower. Ooh, the tower. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so you may be coming to some realization here. You know, there might be a little upset drama. Something that you've already dealt with. This has, like, historical reference. Like, yeah, you've been here before. Four of Pentacles. It could have something to do about money, the home, children, your foundation, your roots, um, about somebody being like um, dominant, uh, domineering, uh, kind of clingy, stuck, or stagnant, or somebody just being downright toxic. Yeah, Page of Cups. It could even be somebody who just needs to have emotional maturity. They need to go somewhere and learn emotional maturity. It's just like somebody is, um, something is being recreated again in a new relationship is what I'm getting. Okay. Um, the page of cups, somebody could be under the age of 30 years old. Okay. Uh, this also could be a young adult. This could be a child. Something is, is brought out. What is the tower? The devil. Okay, yeah. So it's like toxic, stuck ways, uh, low vibration, fear, uh, drama. Um, again, somebody just being extremely like attached to somebody who hadn't dealt with some deep-seated issues maybe from the past traumatic situations from the past so they keep coming out somebody tries to rule from a place of fear 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 and lack the devil this could even be third party situations this could be addiction this is just you know all things maybe you know unhealthy sex drugs rock and roll a tower it happens again though whatever that it is that that's happening for you it happens again what's happening with the tower and the devil oh, you haven't learned the lesson here as to why you're meeting these same people same individuals or or something just keeps repeating here what is happening for cancer here the ace of swords and you're all of a sudden you're getting some extreme clarity about you're extremely clear um, with the Ace of Cups, that maybe there's no staying power with you. You like newness and the beginning of things. But there's no progression in relationships. Pa- another page come up, Page of Wands, false starts. You might need to go heal, death card, and then situations ending, transforming, going into a place of maybe it, it won't ever return. The Seven of Cups, maybe because somebody, again, something about the mind, the emotional state, illusions, um, procrastination, overindulging, uh, losing control of somebody's emotions. So somebody likes to lose control, maybe lash out. Knight of Pentacles, 
um, lash out. Once they get stuck on something in their mind, it is what it is. It's the truth, even though it's not the truth. Not a source, and then there's regret and remorse that sets in after the fact. You be dealing with somebody like that, Cancer, or this is you. So somebody who who just this would be like somebody who they once they think something, they think, oh, I think that you're cheating on me, or you're stealing from me, or anything, anything bad, right? Then they just go with that. Like there's no change in this person's mind. There's also somebody here who's kind of like clingy stuck and it's fear you know it's fear that maybe this person is going to go away from me or they're going to leave or they're going to find a better option or maybe they have or they're playing with me they're playing with my emotions there's somebody here who likes to start things but it doesn't progress into you know maybe the next level it's always just a new start and then we have like two false starts so maybe like Somebody coming back together with someone, and it's, it's just not the time. Um, somebody hasn't matured, or maybe you're meeting new people in hopes that it's going to go good, but there's no maturity here. Um, let's see. What is happening? Oh, for cancer. All right, so we got some jealous friends, or a jealous friend, or somebody's jealous. And they blow up yeah and you guys break up and then you come back together the toxicity somebody's closed off to love because they need to deal with some deep-seated issues from the past somebody is you know of a good nature a white witch um, maybe you try to communicate with this person uh, telepathically or there is telepathic communication someone is just not physically attracted to their partner either it's you or it's someone else or it's mutual um, I heard this could even be somebody who likes the same sex, but they're with the opposite sex, so they're not physically attracted to their partner, okay? And there could even be underpay at work, someone being underpaid at work, or for the work that they do, and then there's like lashing out. Or somebody feels like they're doing too much, yeah? They're taking on too much with the devil card and not getting paid enough. So do just enough. Somebody health or maybe even a health scare i was getting that with the tower and the devil with the nine of swords like restless sleepless nights you could be a night shift worker or you're a shift worker or yeah um maybe not sleeping through the night not being able to sleep something is just um life is chaotic here somebody has to deal with a lot of immature people or they're, they're choosing to deal with all these immature people or they have to in some capacity, I don't know. You have to guide these people. The pages here. Somebody fantasizes about, and maybe that's the telepathy here. I don't know. They fantasize about wishful thinking, about making an offer, going to, I don't know, maybe the white witch, or this is you, somebody thinks about coming to you, a good, a good person. Maybe because they're around toxicity and um, low vibrational energy. These cards be other ooh, the seven of cups and the devil. I mean, yeah, this is like sex, drugs, rock and roll, do whatever, however, whenever. Give me that. Yeah, I'll take that too. You know, this is crazy when you get those two together. Um, and then there's breakdown. So, um, Cancer, this is your reading. I hope that, um, well, let's get you some advice. What's the advice for Cancer? So the seven of cups just fell onto the floor in reverse. So come out of losing control. Get back in control, okay? Uh, if that's you or someone around you, let's see. What is the advice for cancer? A page of wands, okay. Renewed, renewed energy. Come out renewed. Um, make over or make your life over. Um, do something. Do something for yourself. Do work on your own terms or how you want to do it. The Four of Wands reunion, maybe with uh, feminine energy, or you need to be around some feminine energy, or if somebody has like a circle of women, or you need to find one. We did have White Witch, so maybe you need to find other people who are like you, 
um, some big contract, something lands in your lap. Um, this is stability also. Okay, the queen of pentacles. So you need to be healthier. She's healthy. She watches what she eats. She works out. Um, she has very nice home furnishings. Um, she's just all about luxury and not just luxury in terms of materialistic things, but the luxury of eating, the luxury of fit, uh, physical fitness. Um, this is a person like the earth witch, you know. Um, so you need to get some herbs, get some something, and you know, yeah, eight of wands, and, and, and that's going to bring you more vitality. It's going to increase the law of attraction for yourself, whatever you're trying to attract. And you're going to have a better vibration about yourself so you'll attract better people. You know, especially if you take on the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. Understand that you are um, worthy, that you are a good catch, but you have to do the work first on yourself. Um, and then you can, you know, attract better people. So that is the advice or I don't know, it could be the advice, you know, the other way around. Um, but it's the advice for you. Yeah, something you, you got change all over this. You need to change something. You've been doing something for way too long and it needs to be changed. You might need to even change of scenery. You might travel for work. You might need to slow that down. Um, then somebody's got like a rotation of women. These could even be baby's moms is what I'm hearing with the page, these pages coming out like this. Yeah, this is like the mother of. Somebody wants to reunite, reunion with the mother of. Or a mother. Or somebody who was mothering or someone was caring. Let's see. Um, yeah, the tower fell on the floor. Obsession or, obs or infatuation with. marrying into money or being with somebody who has money or some some woman could be obsessed with uh, some man here who has money could even be trying to do energy work in regards to trying to get somebody to change their mind somebody goes back and forth between the sexes in terms of you know um you know, dating. So I date a man, I date a woman, you know, whatever. Somebody has two or more children. It's a lot of work being done. Somebody's doing a lot of travel for work because they want to have something to give to their children, leave to their children, the Ten of Pentacles. But somebody's got to look in on their health. Not eating right, pain in their body, not of sorts, not sleeping. The mother of these children could be trying to come back. I don't know. This is getting great. This is what I have. Cancer. Oh, let's see what you get coming for the future. What's cancer have for the future? What's cancer have? Okay. <clears throat> change. Yeah, I knew. We talked about that. A lot of change. Fast change. Just throwing shit in the car. Like, I'm out. Um, bad health. Okay, so... I don't know, you could be, oh, this is travel too. Watch how uh, you just f zipping and going and flying and maybe you're dri driving fast. There could be accident. Slow down. Um, take care of yourself. Three, three, three could be significant. You got three here, 33 here. You could be 33. You could be seeing three, three, three. Um, so it's about awareness. Um, concern and marriage. Someone's concerned about, somebody slipping into a depression about somebody else's marriage or, or in a marriage. Somebody is depressed or it's, 
you ha did have Knight of Pentacles. So if there is a marriage here, it's it's grown kind of stale, boring. So somebody's like, you know, I don't know what to do about this. If I need to move on, if I need to have some fast change. Someone could be trying to recover a relationship by having sex with that person. Yeah, they could be kind of far off from them. Or it says the only way you're going to get something back or get what you want is you're going to have to have spiritual growth. You have to have some type of God complex with yourself or within yourself. You got two nines coming up. So it's like God, nine is the God number. So it's definitely you need to have like some, um, go to God on this. Some of you overworking yourself, um, traveling too much, overworking yourself. Yeah. Somebody could be stealing from you. I was getting it. Wow, definitely overworking yourself. Toil and labor, thief, house. I don't know, watch your home, or somebody could be watching your home. Someone could be cheating in a relationship, making you do all the work. Keeping money to themselves. Somebody's waiting for somebody to come back. And they just slip slipping deeper and deeper into depression. I don't think this person is coming back. This is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. If you want to get on a complimentary discovery call with me, all you have to do is click the link below. Um, and if you want to be around like-minded business individuals each and every month, go ahead and join the KTMG Keep the Momentum Going monthly conference call where you get spiritual and practical advice as to how to start, maintain, or grow your business. So come be a part of it. Really phenomenal things happening. So thank you. Take care. Keep in mind that readings are 40% off. Use code 40 off at checkout. Thank you. Take care.